Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to talk about the data sets that we have inside Ultralytic. You can directly go in and use them. We're going to go over a bunch of different examples, both for optic detection, segmentation, post estimation, and also are in the bounding boxes for optic detection. So this is pretty cool. If you just want to test out some basic data sets, play around with it, and then I'm going to show you how you can use them. So let's just jump straight into the Autolytics documentation. We have this data sets tab up here at the top. So let's just press that. Then we'll get a data set overview. You can read about that. And you will also get just some basic understanding of all the different data sets that we have, both for detection, optic detection, segmentation, post estimation, classification, RNA bounding boxes, and also multi object tracking. Over here to the right, we get the table of contents. And then you can just go through that and read all of that. So for each individual tab here, we'll have like a short description covering like most of it, what it is, what are the different data sets, what can it be used for and so on, which is pretty important because again, like Argoverse here, it doesn't really say too much, but then you can actually like go down and read about this data set. So the data set here contains 3D tracking and motion forecasting data from urban environments with rich annotations. So if you're looking to solve a specific problem or project, definitely go in and check this one out here, see if there's any data sets that you can use out of the box and maybe try to just train your models on top of it. If you just want to experiment and play around with the Ultralytics models and try to train your own and you don't have your own custom data set, you can go in and use these data sets directly. But we also have tons of videos here on the channel on how you can use your own custom data set, how you can use it in Google Colab to train a Yolovi 8 model from Ultralytics and also export a model and use it in your own applications and projects. But this is a pretty cool tab. We have the data set, we have a short description, basically just covering the most basic things for the different objects. So here we can see the optic detection data sets. We have like the Coco, VOC and so on. These are very large data sets with like a ton of images in there and is often used for pre-training the models. All the Ultralytics Yolvi 8 models has been pre-trained on the Coco data set. So it's over 200,000 label images. And then you're going to use your pre-trained model and fine tune it on your own custom data set. We also have a bunch of instance segmentation data sets. Again, Coco data set, Coco 8 data set, if you just want to get like a subset of eight Coco images. And we also have all these other ones here. So car parts, segmentation, purpose-built data set for identifying vehicle parts, catering to design, manufacture and research needs. It serves for both object detection and segmentation tasks. So often you can use these instant segmentation data sets to also train your object detection models because it's just going to fit a bounding box around those masks. Then we also have post estimation. And again, remember you can use Yolvi 8 models for all of these different kinds of tasks, both for object detection, instant segmentation, post estimation, RN bounding boxes, and so on. You just need to specify the specific model and then you don't have to do anything else. We have the post estimation here, the Coco data set for post estimation and also the Tiger Post. Classification, not, not too important here. We have the RNA bounding boxes with the Dota V2 multi-object tracking and so on. But the cool thing here is that if we actually go inside one of the data sets, now this is the one for our in bounding boxes, then we can go in and read a bit about each individual data set, the key features for each individual data set, data set versions, if there's any specific things in there. But one of the other cool things is actually like the data set YAML. So you'll be able to see the structure of the data set and also how you need to format the data set to train your V8 models. So this is the YAML file for the configuration. We have the number of different classes. We have a path to our data set, our training, validation, and our test split, because this is actually like really important. And if you have your data set in this specific format, you can train the Ultralytics v 8 models directly without doing anything. You just need to have the correct config file, set up a couple lines of code, and you're good to go to train your own custom optic detection models. We can also split the Dota data set, usage, we get some warnings here, sample data and annotations. So here we can see a couple of examples from our data set. And again, you can see the exact same things for all the data sets that we have inside of this data sets guide. This is for post estimation. So the Coco post estimation data set, key features, data set structure applications, and also our YAML file. If you want to use your own custom data sets, we have these YAML files. I show you how you can modify them for your own data sets in the other videos that we have on the channel. So definitely check those out. Here's just one of the examples. So if we want to train the Yolvi 8 models on these data sets from the data sets tab in the documentation, we just need to specify the YAML file path. So here, when we're going to train a model, first of all, we need to create an instance of our model. If we're doing post estimation, we want to have dash post for segmentation, dash sec. If we just want to do traditional optic detection, we don't specify anything and we can use the nano, small, medium model and so on. 
Then we call model.train, we just specify the YAML file or the configuration file with our dataset path and also the classes that we have in our dataset. That's everything we have to do. We specify the number of epochs, the image size of our dataset. We then hit run or run the block of code. Then we can actually go in and train YOLO v8 models with just two lines of code if we're excluding this import up here at the top. So this is how easy it is to train the models. Again, we can see the sample images, annotations. I can go through a couple of more examples, but again, it is the exact same structure. So definitely go through this data set tab here, try it out on your own. Just try to train on any of these data sets. Let us know in the comments how it works out. And also again, remember to check out the other videos that we have on the channel if you want to train your custom models on custom data sets. So I hope you have learned a ton this video here, and then I'll just see you in the next video. Until then, happy learning.